I just caught myself blowing on my breakfast cereal to cool it down. What things have you caught yourself doing that made you question yourself? Tidying up my flat, walking around, everything looking nice. Picked up a pair of boxes off my bedroom floor. Calmly walked into the bathroom, chucked them in the toilet and flushed. Sometimes when I bump into a wall or the side of a door I turn back and say sorry. Then I realize what I've done and quickly look around to make sure no one saw or heard. So I was pretty tired when this happened, to be fair. I had just got into work and I reached into my bag to get my security pass as I tried to swipe it over the scanner to allow me access to the building. Standing for a moment I was trying to comprehend why I couldn't hear a beep and the door opening. Suddenly I realized I had grabbed a block of cheddar cheese I had brought in for lunch and was trying to scan through the security door with it. Little did you know that if you had kept trying to scan it a little bit longer you would have opened the portal to a secret land of cheese. About once a week I have to remind myself that the car clicker does not unlock my house. Apparently I really want a house clicker. I have also come dangerously close to shaving my teeth. On this note, anything vaguely resembling a tube in my medicine cabinet almost makes it to my toothbrush. I'm starting to think my wife puts the Asper cream, R&D ointment and athlete's foot cream all next to the toothpaste on purpose, just to see what happens. Whenever I get a McFlurry, I will think the spoon is a straw and I will suck on it, and it's normally when someone is watching me. When I'm watching a foreign language film with subtitles, I regularly turn up the volume because I can't understand what they're saying. Ah yes, the American tourist approach of understanding. One time I was brushing my teeth, and trying to multitask was searching in my drawer for an elastic or barrette to put my hair up. I don't know how my brain malfunctioned but it apparently just thought okay have to spit now and I spit in my drawer. I'm bad in the mornings. And then you put your toothbrush in your hair. After making breakfast one morning I found myself going to the cupboard with the milk. Just as I went to put it on the shelf I noticed what I was doing and laughed what idiot puts the milk in the cupboard. It goes in the fridge idiot. I then went to the fridge to put the milk in there and found the cereal box was already in there. Needless to say that day did not go well. My freezer is next to my laundry and the amount of times I've put my dirty socks in the freezer would amaze you. I was riding on my bike and just casually drove into a tree. It's not that I didn't see it, I just drove into it without thinking. I used to ride my bike to school with one of my friends. One day we were riding in the street, and I decided I wanted to be on the sidewalk. So I turned to go up there, completely wiped because I forgot about the curb and the grass between the sidewalk and the street. My friend laughed so hard she hit a tree. We lay there laughing for about 10 minutes before we got it together enough to continue. One time, I was tying my shoelaces, as normal, and completed the tying process on my left foot. I then proceeded to tie the lace on the other foot, but forgot how. I just sat there, with the laces in my hands, staring at my foot and wondering how on earth to tie my shoelace. This is the worst, forgetting how to do something so simple that you do every day. I sat in my car once for about 10 minutes trying to remember how to drive. Toggling a light switch while exiting the bathroom, whether the light is on or off before I hit it. I try to open doors with my subway pass. Or job badge instead of keys. Not me, but one hot summer day when I was 10 I saw my mom pour herself a fresh glass of ice lemonade when the phone rang. She picks up the portable landline handset and proceeds to raise it to her lips while simultaneously pouring lemonade in her ear. I'm so happy I got to witness that. That's is seriously freaking awesome. I wish I could have witnessed my mom do something that stupid saying bye to someone who left me an answering machine message. My girlfriend at the time never let me forget that one. I had to do an overhead announcement at a store once and at the end I said thanks bye. Everyone laughed and I was no longer allowed to do announcements. Walk up to an ATM. Insert card. Type in PIN. Choose withdrawal amount. Take back card. Walk away from ATM. I sometimes reach 20 feet before realizing I need to take the money from the machine that I had basically treated as a guess your own pin number arcade game. I once walked up to an ATM and there was a 50 just sticking out of it. I couldn't see anyone for miles so it must have been in there a while. 
So I decided it was my lucky day. D. Try serving cold beverages like beer or wine and coffee mugs then sit back and watch people randomly blow on their drinks and hold them like they are hot. Good times 8. Get picked up from town. Head towards wrong car to get in. Realize. Walk over to the car that looks like mine and realize I'm getting picked up. A person picking me up is sitting there laughing at me knowing what I'm doing. Did something similar waiting for a ride to fringe division. I was waiting for a red four door car. I had only seen it once before, late at night so I couldn't recall the exact make and model. A red car pulls up, I open door, it's some stranger staring at me all perplexed. Whoops. One of my nipples was hard in the morning and the other soft so I started rubbing it in the mirror to make it harden. Immediately I started to think what the frick am I doing? I was drinking some iced tea in a glass bottle, realized it could use a shaking up, and proceeded to dump the entire bottle all over myself and my computer chair, as that was the one time I forgot to put the lid back on. I'm pretty sick right now, you see. I went to blow my nose a little while ago and proceeded to inhale the Kleenex instead. I just sat there and laughed with a really low voice because I still couldn't breathe. Hoo hoo. Jabba no tiki wand solo. My friends are forever part of the drinking game called the Buffalo Club. You have to always drink alcohol from your non-dominant hand. If someone catches you drinking from the wrong hand and they say buffalo, you have to chuck down whatever is left of the drink. Because of this game I always stop myself before I sip and move the cup to my other hand, even if it isn't an alcoholic beverage. It feels weird to hold a drink in my right hand now. We call it Bulmas and it's with any drink. Got someone with a bottle of wine once. That was entertaining. Reminds me of this time I was eating cereal, and the bowl I eat cereal in happens to have a straw attached to it so you can just drink the milk through the straw when the cereal's gone. So I finished the cereal and I just started sucking on the spoon. I sat there for like a minute and a half wondering why the spoon was clogged. Do any of you catch yourself living? I mean stop whatever it is you're doing and suddenly realize. Wow. This is all real. This is what exists. I am me. It happens to me about once a week. I still feel weird thinking about. So I'll go back to autopilot now. I was looking for something in a book. Flipped to the index and said, I'll just google it here. I wept for myself that day. I had a friend who needed the dictionary for something. He said, I'm gonna go book google that. This is the way the world ends. I've just locked myself out of my girlfriend's house while she was in. She had headphones on, so she couldn't hear me hammering on the door for 15 minutes. After she let me in I realized the keys were in my pocket the whole time. I walked into the kitchen one fine day intending to pour myself a bowl of chili. On my way to the stove I got caught up in listening to a conversation between my mother and grandmother in the other room. Now enthralled as I was in the act of eavesdropping I neglected to grab a bowl for my chili. So there I stood listening intently as I poured a boiling hot ladle full of chili into my cupped hand. I then stood staring at my impromptu bowl of chili contemplating what I had just done. Naturally I took the only reasonable course of action. I attempted to eat the chili. Just because the chili was now in my mouth did not make it any less scaldingly hot. Sometimes I try to copy and paste something that I've written on a piece of paper. Or from the computer to paper. Or I wonder what the temperature is so I'll look at my watch. Even though I've never worn a watch that provided that information. I tried to control a plus F in a textbook today. It didn't go well. I chew drinks sometimes. I chew ice cream. My mom thinks I'm crazy. I was reading Wikipedia. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. My brain. So what's the brightest star in the day sky? Once when I took shrooms I walked out of my friend's room to get a drink or something. On my return I was gazing into the room wondering where everyone had gone and why it looked so dark. Stood there for about 5 minutes totally confused and decided to venture into this new strange looking room. Bam. It wasn't a new dark and mysterious place. It was the freaking door. Shrooms. Way more than once. Got a coffee one morning. Go to put some sugar in it. Grab a couple sugar packets. Rip the tops off. And proceed to drop the tops in my coffee and pour the sugar into the trash. It was a rough morning. 
I've done that. Although I usually realize what I've done as soon as I drop the torn off bit into my coffee. I sometimes I just chuck the whole sugar packet and untorn. I often find myself washing my hands after I get out of the shower, before looking at myself in the mirror and thinking, what the frick are you doing? Dropped my iPhone a couple weeks ago. The next morning I wanted to take a screenshot of my broken screen to post on Facebook. Also, the following thought, oh, I could take a photo of my phone, I just have to launch the camera on the phone, oh wait. My microwave used to sit on top of my tumble laundry dryer due to limited space and without thinking I opened the tumble dryer and almost put a bowl of soup in it to heat it up. To be fair it would have warmed the soup, just you know it would have been all over the dryer. Taking a drink and missing my mouth completely as I rotate the cup so liquid falls over my shirt. It's as if I was thinking of something else but autopilot mode kept the cup moving forward as I move my head to do something. In a moment of confusion, and sleep deprivation, if I recall correctly, I once attempted to copy and paste from my computer to my phone. I was very upset when it didn't work. Before class one morning I was in the shower and about to shave. Being tired as I was I put the shaving cream all over my head, froze, and thought wow, I am an idiot. I once ate a large bowl of cereal while watching the TV. I didn't notice the TV wasn't on until I finished the cereal so about 10 minutes I just sat there staring at the blank screen like a zombie putting cereal into my mouth. I occasionally opened the cabinet next to the fridge to get a glass, forgetting that the last time we kept glasses in that cabinet was about 10 years ago. There are so many things, I don't know where to start. But two of the things that made me question my own intelligence were, 1. I usually ride my bike to the places I need to go, woo dutchies love them bikes, but recently I took the car and it was quite hot so I opened the window, when I had to turn left, I extended my arm out of the window and wondered why it was so hard to make the turn and shift to the next gear, 2. When I was younger and I heard about condoms with a flavor for the first time I was telling everyone, how stupid. How the frick can girls taste with their vag, and by younger I mean 15, and I never really thought about BJ's. Yesterday I panicked because the mouse on my work computer wasn't working. I realized moments later that I had been pushing my iPhone around on my desk instead of the mouse the entire time. I was on my PC, very stoned, put my headphones on and started listening to some music. About 10 minutes later I took off my headphones to go get a drink and oddly enough, I could still hear the music just as clear as with the headphones on. After freaking out for a few minutes I realized my speakers were plugged in and not my headset. I sit down to my computer, put on my headphones, and get to work, hours later realizing I've been listening to nothing. I used to live in a really crowded apartment complex. It took a long time to find parking every day when I got home from work or school. One day, as I'm cruising around the complex and looking for a spot along the street, I see the exact same model color of my car in a parking spot, and for the briefest moment I thought to myself, oh, cool, I already found parking. Fassa palmed through the rest of the day after that. On several occasions I have put soap on my toothbrush and tried to wash my hands with toothpaste. I no longer use mentid and toothpaste. Putting cereal in the fridge. Unfortunately I only catch myself doing it when I go look for the cereal in the cupboard and it's not there. Walking back to my car with hands full of bags, rummaged in my handbag for my key, pointed it at my car and realized something was wrong. Took way too long to realize I was pointing a spoon at my car. Got some strange looks that day. My mom tried to open an elevator with her car beeper thing. The look on her face when we both realized what she did was amazing. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.